Thanks for joining us back on the 19th floor here in Bangkok and on the couch I've got uh, Mark Gary. Welcome to the show, Mark. How you doing? And of course, the Lifetime Achievement Award, which goes, of course, goes to Dave Winters. Thanks for joining us on the couch today, Dave. Thank you very much. Thank now, you. I'm just going to talk with Mark just for a second because we're going to come over to you to sure. find out exactly why you've got this achievement, which is in, in itself is a, you know, there's tons of writing on there and I want Mark to tell me a bit about it. Mark, why Dave Winters? Because he's... He deserves it more than anyone I can think of. I, 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 I met Dave online on Facebook and because he was in Thailand. And uh, as you know, I dance, and, and he's the king of dance. And so I started watching him, and, and I saw a man who was a warrior, and he was battling through. He shouldn't have lived through it. Yeah. Each time, each time I would watch this man go into the hospital, and and I thought I would never see another post from him on Facebook. Mm. And he battled through the craziest stuff. Yes, he would yeah. he would come out and write about what he went through, and I would be like, "How could you still be alive?" And 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 then he came out. He decided to write his book, and 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 continued to go through this the same, you know, t mm. and. Uh, that's when I decided I was going to honor him. I mean, it's quite it's quite a little bit of a list, though. I mean, you know, like master dancer, choreographer, actor, producer, director, screenwriter, author. I mean, there's no end to you. Well, I've done all. I've done it all. You know, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. I've done it. Sure. And uh, it's been it's been a hard battle mm. because I've spent a lot of time in hospitals. Mm. I've escaped death. Whew. I don't know. Uh, my doctor last week told me I died 17 times in one day. He said that my defibrillator and my pacemaker brought me back to life, which I didn't even know was possible. I thought they could only do it one time. But it actually brought me back to life 17 times in one day. Uh, because what happened is I collapsed. I had a low potassium count, which I didn't realize. I collapsed in my suite at the hotel five times in the same day. And uh, the first time was on marble. And the, the other times are on wood. So uh, that was just one moment. But I've been fighting it all my life. I, my first close thing with death was when I was a year and a half old. And I was, uh, and I'm, I'm an Aries and I love fire. And so I was in my wheelchair, as my mother tells me. And uh, I was looking in the fire and I fell into the fire. And my na nanny came in and saw it and started screaming. And my mother came in and she picked me up with tongs that you use for coal. And she picked it, well, she attached it to one of my legs yeah. and pulled me out of the fire. I had 90% burns on my body. To this day, I still have a burn on this arm from that day. And I never stopped, I never made a sound from when I was a year and a half till I was three years old. Mm. So that was my first close encounter with death. Can I take you to a high? I know sure. some of this is a low time in yes. your life, and, uh, yes. and you've been battling. Mark's told me a lot about you, yes. and you know you're you're a warrior. But so it's been it, great. It, yes, it's been great. Give me the highest, the highest peak of what you thought well, was, you know, one of the things, something that you got very proud of. I'm very proud that I was in West Side Story. Uh, West Side Story has won more mm. uh, Academy Awards than any other musical, including Best Film, and I'm very proud to have been a part of that movie, and no matter how small. To just to be a part of it was wonderful. Um, working with Barbara Streisand, uh, I did A Star Is Born with Barbara. We won a whole bunch of awards. Mm -hmm. um, I made four movies with Elvis, which is the most that anyone's ever made with Elvis. Uh, Anne Margaret, I made five movies with Anne Margaret, and I owe her whole career to me. I mean, I owe my whole career to her. It's She's nice. the one who started me and got me Viva Las Vegas with Elvis. Al, my, I call him Al. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, working with uh, Alice Cooper is wonderful. Uh, working with Paul Newman was wonderful. Uh, I've, I've worked with so many. You know, every major star right now, I've worked with them. I've worked with every major star. It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing that I'm still here and I've had a chance to work with all these wonderful people. Dicefer, you know, when you dicefer from from things to things, you know, you go from West Side Story, you go from a film, I mean, you know, what journey takes you there? Is it just like a phone call? 
or is it something you, you decide well, to do, or, is it, or do they contact you? They contact me for the most part. For the most part, they contact me. I, I have created some of my own movies yes, now, yeah. but uh, they actually contact me for the most part. Uh, Barbara Streisand called me. I was in London with Alice Cooper, and Barbara called me on the telephone. And my psychic had told me two days before that Barbara Streisand is going to call you. And I said, Lynn, you're crazy. What is she going to call me for? Two days later, there was a call from Barbara Streisand. I want you to do A Star Is Born with me, David. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow factor. So, uh, yeah. Wow factor to you, of course. I mean, you know, giving somebody like Dave um, a, a lifetime achievement award, of course. I'm so a, grateful for it's it. It's a great honor. And, of course, in the, presence oh, of, in the presence of a lot of great people tonight. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yes. you know, for, even yes. I think for, for a lot of us, Mark, what a lot of people don't understand is, you know, the normal guys like me or the guys here or here tonight, the guys that have never been in the position of Dave or, or all the fighters or anything, just normal people. When somebody just appreciates you for something that you've done, I think it's very honourable and wonderful. very warming. It's wonderful. You know, and it's... Uh, it's wonderful. I'm sure, I'm sure you, you feel like that. It's an incredible moment for me for my lifetime. But I must say that my book that I wrote is called Tough Guys Do Dance. And there's a reason for that, because I want more da guys to be dancing. I want to see them in ballet class. There was always a stigma when I was growing yeah, up sure. about a boy being mm. in dance class or a boy being in ballet class especially. And I want to see more of these kids in class. So I, I can tell you something between me and you that nobody knows. When I was at school and I was 12 years old, I was the only guy in a lineup of girls doing tap dancing. Oh, really? Great. That's true. Good yeah? for you. And then I left the next day. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true what Did you say. Did someone intimidate you or what? Well, happened? you know, it was my sister. She was better than me, and I didn't like that. I see. But I, a lot of you know, a lot of people today are dancing with guys. I mean, yeah, there is a stigma about. I've seen Mark. I mean, he, he tangos, don't you? Fantastic. You still, you still do that. You're very good, aren't you? I just yeah, saw well, you know, when that is when you wrote the book and you came out. The tough guys do dance, and of course I dance. And, and, and what you say about the ballet is a good friend of mine and the, the person who I stayed with when I lived here in Thailand mm. was a black belt and he took ballet and um, Al de Coscos, Mark de Coscos, his father, uh -huh. uh, was his teacher and when uh, he found out that he was taking ballet, he took his black belt away. Oh my God. So he what? took his black belt away and yet, did it, you know, then, then what happened from that is is now he knows you know that would never happen now he got his black belt back yeah. but like you said it was not it wasn't acceptable mm. until Bruce Lee came out and was was a ball championship uh, cha-cha dancer and yes. uh -huh. and if people found out that yes dancing and martial arts it's all the same yeah and uh, well even if you look at uh, Gene Kelly who was my hero by the way when you look at Gene Kelly dancing he's so physical yeah he's such a physical dancer he jumps and he leaps and you know, he's just, he's a very muscular kind of a guy. Uh, he's not the baller, that you think of the ballerina kind of guy, you know. And so, your, your, your book is again, just for the guys out there, the name of the book? It's called Tough Guys Do Dance. Well, Tough and Guys, it's Tough Guys. number one Amazon bestseller. The day it came out, in two hours, it was number one on Amazon. Well, I wish you the best of luck for that. Thank you very much. So there you go, book out on Amazon. Thank you. Mark Jerry here, and of course, for the guys out there tonight, a lifetime achievement award for Dave. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure very, to meet you, Dave. Much. It's been really, really good. Nice to meet you. Thank you for too. joining us on the couch today. Thank Mark, you. same to you, mate. Thanks yeah. for having me. Nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for you guys you. out there, we'll be back in a second. Stay with us. Yeah.